Hey everyone, this is Jet Saturn 7 back with another diecast review. Today we're taking a look at Kyle Larson's number five Freightliner Chevrolet from the Bristol Dirt Race. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. We've got the Kyle Larson uh, name right there. Got his face. Got number five Hendrick Motorsports NASCAR Cup Series logo right there. Got 21 number five. Got Kyle Larson's name on the back of the box. This is the liquid collar version, uh, Kyle Larson number five Freightliner, 2021 Camaro liquid collar, one of 84, and then on the bottom is the copyright and such. Um, by the way, I'm using my friend's, uh, using his uh, desk right now. Uh, the table's just got really old. He has a new tripod and stuff that I'm using, so uh, so it's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and start from the front of the car. You got Chevrolet Bowtie number five. Hendrick Motorsports, the ZL1 right there. On the hood, you have Freightliner. You have Larson and the two Chevy bow ties on the uh, front window uh, name rail. And outside, you just have the Sunoco contingency, and that's that's it. <laughs> you got the Cup Series. You got Tarleton right there. You got number five. You have Freightliner, HendrickCars.com on the quarter panel. Then American Ethanol Ring right there. C post we have Valvoline, and then on the V post we have Acronis Freightliner Mac Tools Siemens. Well, we have Exalta Acronis Freightliner Mac Tools Siemens and Cincinnati. We have Kyle Larson's name on the name rail, the one winner sticker from Las Vegas. And on the back you have Freightliner and Valvoline number five ZL1 Camaro 1LE. On the deck lid you have a Freightliner. This is then number 68. Larson's name on the rear window name rail. Freightliner is the roof sponsor. And this side is the same as the other side. There's the chassis of the car. It's worth noting that this car is the updated version to include the Bristol dirt tires on the bottom, well, on the tires of the car. Um, being liquid collar, you can kind of, black, it doesn't show up as well as it does on other cars, but you can kind of see um, the liquid collar detail right there um so yeah that was that's pretty cool um very cool piece um happy to have it in my collection um i'm glad that they released an updated version of the car um of course he didn't fare too well at the bristol dirt race uh i was there with a couple of friends um unfortunately he got caught up in someone else's mess which you know happens it happens sometimes but uh definitely not what uh not what you want to see, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be back this year for the Bristol Dirt Race. Should be a lot better. It's at night, um, not in the daytime. <laughs> that was uh, that wasn't that wasn't that was, that wasn't good. Um, just because of the the dust and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's going to be at night, so it should be a lot better. Um, hopefully, someone else, not Logano, wins. Um, but anyway, I suppose that wraps up this review. Um, with this car, you can go ahead and I'd go ahead and get it as all the Larson cars are drying up rather quickly. Um, even like the standard HendrickCars.com car is going for uh, uh, well over $100 um, currently. So I highly suggest picking up any Kyle Larson cars that you will want to collect. Um, it's worth noting the paint scheme. I do like the uh, paint scheme. I like that they kind of kept the uh, the base scheme. Um for Freightliner, um, well, the base scheme for the HendrickCars.com, but just change up the collars and stuff for Freightliner. Um, this camera's focus is horrible. Um, there we go. Okay. But yeah, I really do like the paint scheme a lot. The gray, gray, the black, the white. I wish the five was like a different shade of blue. That'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, that wraps up for this review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you can use my code JetSaturn at Circle B Diecast. Get free shipping on orders over $20. And I'll see you all next video. Thanks for watching.